Hello. Welcome to Clayton Valley Presbyterian Church. I'm Kathleen, one of the Godly Play teachers, and I'm really happy to welcome you on this Lenten Sunday to our circle. If we were together in person, we'd gather first in the sanctuary with all of our family and our friends. We'd spend a little time with Pastor Barbara, and then teachers and children would make their way to this sacred space so that we can have a time of story. A teacher will always greet us at the door to this space, and we're welcomed one by one, called by name, to come to the circle together, to worship in our way in this room no matter who is telling the story on any Sunday, that storyteller will always welcome each person the same way. The Lord be with you. We make ourselves ready so that we can come close to the stories in this room. Behind me, we have the stories of celebration and worship, the liturgical stories. Over by the art shelves, we have the parables, the mysteries. Those all have lids. And lining these walls, we have scriptural stories, the sacred stories from the Hebrew scriptures and the Greek scriptures. But this is Lent. This is the time when we're all on a journey to discover who Jesus is really was and is and who we are. And so you know that that story is going to come from the Greek scriptures. Once you've heard a story in this room, it's yours forever. And if we're together here, you can take it down from the shelves and work with it during the work time. So you always want to watch where the storyteller goes to get the story so you know where to find it when you want it and where to put it back so it's there for the next person. Over here, these stories from the Greek scriptures. I need this big basket. It's not very heavy, but I want to carry it carefully. And I also need this. Let's see. I think I'll do this. I want to be careful that I don't drop anything. We come to the circle together. We make our bodies still, and our hands still, and our mouths still. There's going to be something in this story that's just for you. And it doesn't matter if you've heard this story before. Sometimes when we hear a story, we go, oh, I remember this one. The last time you heard this story, you were different. And so today, I want to invite you to enter the story, to discover what's in it that's just for you. We're coming to the end of the purple time, the season of Lent. time when we're getting closer and closer to what would happen in Jerusalem that would change everything. This very serious, almost sad color of purple would change with something that's wondrous. But that's not yet to happen. Jesus and his friends had come for the Passover to Jerusalem. Like so many other people, they had come to be with their friends and family members and 
come close to the temple. And remember that time when God had been so close to Moses and Moses had been so close to God that God could show Moses how to lead the people through the waters to freedom. That was an amazing time never to be forgotten. And so people wanted to come close and be together. Jesus told his friends to look for a man carrying a big water jug. And that man would lead them to an upper room. They should prepare the room, for that was where they would come together to share the Passover feast. everything ready. And they came together, all of them. Jesus and the twelve. They came around the table. All of them. You've probably seen pictures of this. The artists painted long, long after it happened. They had all the special foods of the Passover. And when everyone had eaten and had their fill, Jesus' friends saw him do something that he had never done before, certainly not at Passover. They'd never seen it done at Passover before. He took the bread and he blessed it. broke it. And as they watched, he said, take, eat. This is my body broken for you. And then, then he took the cup and he blessed that. And he handed it to them and said, take, Drink this, all of it. It is my blood shed in the new covenant, the new promise. They didn't understand, but they, they never forgot. And then he told them something else. He said, today I command you, Listen, love one another as I have loved you, love one another. And then they sang a hymn together and they went out to the garden to pray.
Jesus' words were in their minds and in their hearts. As they went into the garden that night, only Jesus knew what was about to happen. For as they gathered in the garden, and they began to pray, that's when it happened. Soldiers came and took Jesus. He was arrested. And then there was trial of swords and he was nailed to a cross and he died the thing that Jesus knew would happen happened that night after that supper but that was just the beginning okay then Some of Jesus' friends went to the tomb and he was not, his body was not there, but he was with them and it changed everything. Now I wonder wonder what part of this whole story, what whole part of this story is the part that you like the best? Is there a part that you wait for? Sometimes there is a part that we like the best because it reminds us of something else that's important to us. I wonder if there's a part of the story like that for you. Where are you in this story today? I wonder who the man with the water urn was. always wonder, don't we, what Jesus' friends were saying and thinking when they sat at that table with him for the last time. I wonder what part of this story you think is the most important part, the part that maybe we should tell other people about. wonder what part you will take with you for the rest of this week as the time of Lent, the time of getting ready for the mystery of Easter. That time is upon us. I wonder what part of this story you'll take. Until we come again to worship together at this circle, may the Lord bless you and keep you.